Life on the roof of the world is full of interesting stories. Near Lhasa, on this dry, wind-whipped steps at an altitude of 4,500 meters, a plateau pika peeks out of his burrow. They look like rats, but are actually closer to rabbits. Summer is the most enjoyable time of the year on the plateau, but those pikas cannot let their guard down because they're on the menu of nearly everyone here. Rabbits' DNA helps them escape by taking advantage of burrow networks. They can dig up to 2,000 holes per hectare. On the surface, they look like Bilbo Baggins' hobbit hole in the Shire, but the complexity is beyond imagination. Some are simply meant for escape, and others are more complex, cozy homes. Danger is just one chapter of the Pika survival story. Competition is another. It's partly the result of living in a crowded family, but it also comes from something bigger. Himalayan yaks. The VIP customers of this grass buffet. Despite their huge size difference, scientists have categorized them as rivals. But latest findings say their relationship developed to something more. When the short, frost-free season ends, how the pika survives harsh winters has been a mystery. They don't migrate, hibernate, use extra body fat, or store grass in burrows like their American cousins. They skip nearly all winter strategies we have known so far. A recent analysis of pika's gut content, however, reveal the presence. Of yak feces. This behavior, known as interspecific coprophagy, is quite rare among vertebrates, but makes sense. Yak dropping is a low-effort food source that allows the pika both to save energy and protect themselves from the cold and the predators. This diversified nature. Can establish any unlikely relationship. <laughs> <laughs>